think you're okay, sir. Hey, kids. Today we're going to learn about open and closed circulatory systems. Living cells of multicellular animals require a constant supply of oxygen and nutrients, as well as a way to eliminate carbon dioxide and poisonous waste. Wonder how this happens? The heart pumps blood through blood vessels. In invertebrates, there are two main types of circulatory systems, open and closed circulatory systems. Hello, Dr. Geneva. Yes, that is correct. Yes, she is 15. Oh. Oh, the open circulatory system. Well, the open circulatory systems are systems in which the blood from the heart is not entirely contained in the blood vessels. Instead, the blood from the heart is pumped through a series of blood vessels that carry the blood and release it directly into the body tissues. Yeah, I'm out of milk. One, two, three, four. Can I have a little more? Hello? Yes, thank you. Oh, closed circulatory systems. Yes, I know much about them. Closed circulatory systems keep blood contained in a system of closed vessels that pass through various parts of the body and return the blood back to the heart. In such systems, blood does not come into direct contact with tissues. Instead, oxygen and carbon dioxide and other substances diffuse in and out of the blood through very thin walls of tiny blood vessels. In this system, provides a more rapid and efficient control of blood flow through the body. Is that all? Thank you. All complex animals have circulatory systems. Some examples of closed circulatory systems are humans and gorillas, like Charlie, but he's a vertebrate. Some examples of invertebrates would be worms, octopi, and insects. Worms are the few invertebrates that are closed circulatory that means they have blood vessels and all the blood stays inside it. Closed circulatory systems are shown with us in the red as blood cells. They walk through the blood vessels into different parts in the tissue where they diffuse and pick up and receive uh, oxygen and other waste and then go back from those tissues to the heart and then where they deposit that stuff in the lungs and then they go back to the tissues like we're doing. Corky, look! Oh my goodness! It's a whole colony of Aborigines roly polies! Take a look at those beauties! Crikey! These are invertebrates, and they have open circulatory systems. That means the blood only stays in part, some veins, but then goes out into sinews. Amazing! Crikey! Look! A whole colony of... Aborigines wolf roly polies. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them! Look at them! These are invertebrates. What type of blood system do they have? They have a. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yeah, let's make one! So, multicellular animals require a constant supply of oxygen and nutrients, as well as a way to eliminate carbon dioxide and poisonous waste. You may ask, how much is the blood? That's the question. How does it happen? How does, How it, does happen? it happen? <laughs>